hey, are you aware that most of the equipment that you weld on as a maintenance welder, trucks, caterpillar equipment, loaders, buckets, frames, drills, whatever it may be, were not fabricated with a 70,000 tensile wire like E70 S6 or S3. They were built with at least an 80,000 tensile wire. And if that equipment has come back to you broken, it doesn't make any sense to use a 70,000 wire to repair it. You need something like this, something that's made for that work, Polaris MIG. I'll show you how it works. Well, I thought I'd show you how tough this uh, Polaris MIG is and how well it welds on crud when you have to. Uh, and this obviously isn't a piece of heavy equipment, but uh, it is indicative of what you might run into from time to time when you're welding on something cruddy and you can't clean it the way you might like. That's what a maintenance welding wire is made for, and that's what Polaris MIG does so well. So let's, uh, let's try this clip test, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, let's see what we get. Well, that Polaris ran on really nice. Uh, I, uh, I kind of missed the beginning of it a bit, but uh, you can see it tied in well, uh, both to the uh, really contaminated pipe. It's got two coats of paint on it, it's rusty, uh, and that old piece of angle iron. So we'll pound on it here in a second, see what it does. When you do a clip test like this, where you weld on one side and beat it the weak way towards the weld. It's not a perfect test for tensile strength and elongation, but it certainly gives you an, an idea of the kind of toughness that you've got in the weld. And very commonly, if you do this kind of test with a general purpose wire, you beat on the backside, it's just gonna crack right down the middle and, and go over. Uh, and some of those times in maintenance welding, you can't get to both sides. You need something that's stronger. Uh, so let's pound on this thing a little bit, see what it looks like. Well, that's pretty tough. It looks like it's slipping in the vise a little bit. Typical problem with something round in a vise, but let's uh, reset it and pound on it a little more. That Polaris MIG is tough. Even though this is not the most perfect weld, I know I'll take some uh, abuse from the good welders in the world, but uh, I think you're getting an idea how tough this stuff really is. Well, I'm working on that. The weld has bent uh, a little bit. The angle iron's bent a little bit. But uh, it sure is in movement. It doesn't like slipping in the vice a bit. I'll do it one more time and see what we get. Well, the angle iron is bending and I'm getting tired, so I hope that'll uh, give you a, a good idea of how tough this Polaris MIG really is. Uh, 100,000 tensile, super high elongation. It's just a super wire and it welds through the crud when you have to. One-sided welds. We have literally hundreds of customers that won't use anything else but this Polaris MIG on their trucks, frames, on heavy equipment, on buckets.
because they've had welds crack and fail before, not because they weren't welded properly, but because the wire that they were using, or the rod, like a 7018, just couldn't handle it. And the Polaris MIG can. I hope you'll give some of it a shot, and I thank you very much for your time. Well, as a postscript, I was, uh, I was a little uh, disappointed that uh, that pipe kept slipping in the, in the uh, vise, so I did what I should have done in the beginning and flipped the vise over into the pipe clamp. Uh, and we'll see, uh, and I got a bigger hammer too, so we'll see what this, uh, what this weld will do. Nothing's indestructible, but let's see what it does with this. <laughs> it's, it's slipping in the... It's slipping in the pipe clamp of the vise. That is tough stuff. You just have to try this. Well, the angle's bending, and I can't hold it. I hate to keep coming back to this, but uh, it, I, yeah, I'm a little frustrated that I can't hold this thing, and I, I want to pound on it harder. So I'm going to try one more time and see what we get. That's not holding it either. So how about if I do this? How about that? Still not a perfect test, but boy, that stuff is tough. 